Live from 14 WFIE, this is Education Matters. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Education Matters. I'm Jennifer Cahill. And I'm Vince Bertram. On our show today, we'll be talking standardized testing, breaking down the I-STEP test in Indiana as testing ends today across the state. We'll tell you why these tests are so high stakes and what's being done to prepare your children. And in our EVSC Spotlight today, a program that shows children that reading can indeed be fun. But first, a look at what's making headlines in education this week. An Indiana Senate committee is set to take up the charter school voucher legislation this afternoon, one of several bills House Democrats are boycotting during their stay in Illinois. House Bill 1002 calls for greatly expanding the number of charter schools in the state by making it easier for the schools to start up and operate. Charter schools are public schools, but they operate outside the traditional district hierarchy and are free from many state regulations. When the bill goes before the Senate today, its sponsor has a dilemma. Emma. Any changes to the bill would require it to go back to the House for another vote where it already passed once, or the Senate could pass it without amendments, making it become law. The Indiana Department of Education continues to investigate whether I-STEP test security was breached by the release of an essay question on the test. The In Education Department's chief of staff says they might have to invalidate test results for about 80,000 eighth graders due to the leak. It's believed a test coordinator copied the question from the eighth grade language arts test and shared it with others, including someone who pasted it on a Facebook page connected with a teachers group in central Indiana. So Dr. Bertram, let's talk about that charter school bill again. It wasn't indeed passed and made law. You know, we were excited when it passed through the um, House, but now it's going to the Senate today. How do you feel about what will happen there? Well, I think the Senate put, is put in a, a precarious situation and that they know that if they offer any amendments that the bill dies more than likely given the situation in the house so you know, they're they're enticed obviously to pass it without amendment but nevertheless i think charter school legislation is very important in the state of indiana and obviously we have two outstanding charter schools and in, in evansville two that are sponsored by the evsc singer school and joshua academy do an outstanding job but i do want i, I think when we look at charter school legislation people think that they're just going to sprout up all over the place and they may but it's still a market-based uh, situation so it's driven by demand and what we have to do as a community is to make sure we're offering good choices for our families and giving them access to quality programs so that they will choose the EVSC or one of our current charter schools. Real quickly, why is it the teachers then are so opposed to this bill passing? I think there's fear. There's fear with vouchers, charter schools, that the same dollars are going to be diffused. So the, the money is not going to increase. So if students are leaving the public school system or traditional public school system to go to a charter school or using vouchers, that that will reduce the resources available to public schools. And I look at it from a different perspective. I just want us to continue getting better and improving the outcomes and the experiences for our students so that they choose to be with us. And I think if we are doing those things, I think that will be the end result. All right, thank you. Well, coming up after the break, we're talking I-STEP tests and we'll be joined by EVSC's Assistant Superintendent of performance assessment and research stay with us there's only one dealer that can claim to be the top selling dealer and that's town and country ford superstore on the lloyd and i-164 at town and country ford we are in the business of the people in the tri-state by offering great buys you can believe in like this new 2010 ford f-150 super cab you can drive it home today for just 18 111 no gimmicks like adding destination charges to sale prices no hidden charges at the superstore you want the best price and the best trade-in value and the best possible financing at the superstore we will make you a believer Farm Boy Food Services is a family-owned food distributor serving the Tri-State for more than 50 years. We stock more than 5,000 products, including fresh and frozen meats, seafood, entrees, produce, dairy products, and much more. Our store hours are Monday through Friday 8 to 6, Saturday 8 to 3. Contact us at 428-8436 or visit our website. Farm Boy, just a little better. TRU Event Rental Incorporated is a complete event service company locally owned and operated since 1988. Providing the tri-state area with professional service and quality equipment for corporate events, convention setups, weddings, backyard parties, and more. To make an appointment, call 812-423-6744 or visit our website. We stake our reputation on your event. 